Okay, here's part three. Uh, I pulled it all apart and I run over it with my buffing well, polished it up a little bit. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my shielding paint and I'm going to paint all the pockets with my shielding paint. So let me set that up and we'll get to it. Okay, I uh, got my shielding paint right here. Uh, I'm not going to tape it up because I don't care if I get the paint on the edges right here because it's going to be covered up anyway. So um, we're going to paint it all up. Okay, got the shielding paint in it. I can let this dry for about an hour or so, and then we're gonna come in and we're going to put in the jack pocket and uh, solder that together, put the pit guard in it, and once I get the pit guard in it, it's all downhill from there. Okay, we should be dry enough now. What I wanna do is I wanna take my ground wire and my white wire through the jack, uh, jack pocket and solder it to my jack plug. And there's that. All right, now let's set everything in here. Let's see if it's going to fit like it did the other day. Okay, that took me, that gave me a little bit of trouble. Not much, but just a little bit. But I got it in there. Now I just got to drill the holes for the uh, screws, put them in. Okay, so I run into a little bit of a snag. Everything's fitting well, except I had to put the bridge on. The pit guard wants to go over the bridge, and this the pit guard needs to be moved up some. Okay. Now remember, I'm trying to put these pickups and this pit guard in a super strat pattern. Even though these are smaller, the shape of the bottom of these magnets are hitting here. So I had to modify that because they're hitting here. So I need to move the pit guard this way a little bit, but the screws are hitting the edges right here. So I've got to get my router back out and I've got to route these edges off just right here, right here and right here and um, try it again. So I'm not going to film that. I'm just going to do it and we'll come back and see how it fits. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but right here, I had to route it out right up here and right here and change the shape a little bit so the screws for the pickups will slide forward. So let's give it a try and then this should fit just right. Should, in theory. There we go. Now that fits a whole lot better. Where It's where it's supposed to be. Now I can drill the holes for the screws. There it is. Okay. There we go. That's looking pretty good so far. Having to modify a few things, but there we go. So now I'm going to put the neck on it, and then uh, all I got to do is string it up. All right, now I'm going to put the neck on it. I mean, that looks pretty good right there. Get the neck plate.
right, it's all stringed up. I think it looks pretty good. I got the pickups adjusted right. I got my string action adjusted right. Everything's good to go. Um, I mean, the pickups sound pretty good, but I don't play guitar. Um, I just like to make them. I make them for fun. I make them for my son. But I have a friend of mine. His name is Mitch. He's in a band. He's going to strum this for me, uh, and we're going to see how it sounds. Now, it is kind of heavy. A standard Strat weighs about 7 to 8 pounds. This one weighs just over 10, 10.33. So it's a couple pounds heavier than it should be. That's because of the body. The body is made out of hardwood, oak, and that's kind of heavy. But uh, other than that, it's not too bad. So we're going to go see my buddy Mitch. He's going to play it. We're going to see how it sounds. sounded pretty good. Mitch liked it. Now, he's more of a bass player. And, you know, for somebody that, that just does this for fun, I don't claim to be a luthier or anything like that. I mean, there's a lot I could learn. Um, I just thought it would be cool to do a uh, Strat with that 3D cube pattern on it. And that's really the only reason why I made this, just to see if it could be done. So I hope you all enjoyed the series. Um, hit the like and subscribe button, and um, we'll talk to you later.